what are some of the positive changes you've seen from the first year to the third year that you've seen in the CSO program? You know, in the CSO uh, program as a whole, just with the, the returning kids, the ones who have been in, in year two and year three, I've seen such a growth, not just with my own CSOs, but with the, uh, the CSOs from other schools, the faces that you recognize just in them being confident to go out and do things, to have a voice, to get engaged and involved in what, what's going on. Um, beyond the being able to, to get science and technology, engineering, math out in their community, they are taking strides as individuals who are, are looking to, to raise the bar themselves. And uh, you, you see that growth in, in confidence in those, those CSOs. What are some of the benefits of having a CSO in your school or community? Uh, the benefits of having a, a CSO in the, in our, I'll start with our school from the, from the get-go, at least from our op observations, just the fact that the kids are taking initiative, it means much more to the rest of the students. Um, especially where we're at, we're a K through eight school, I'm sorry, preschool through eight school. So they're seeing our junior hires actively involved, engaged, uh, loving science, loving math, and, and that love filters down to them. They get engaged because they see all the wonderful, cool, exciting things, and they see how the enjoyment on our, uh, the faces of our, our CSOs. What is the importance of student voice? Uh, looking at it from the perspective as, as an adult and fellow staff members, um, we can think of, of certain things and our kids need this, our kids need to see this in, in schools and they need to experience this, but getting our students involved and telling us, no, really, here's what we're interested in, here's what we need, we better understand how we can support them and who better to, to take that role and talk to the staff on our behalf than our CSOs, our junior hires in there who have an interest in, in science um, and, and what they want to see and have an initiative and a goal and a desire to get that done. Well, that better helps us as adults, the teachers on staff, uh, anybody else that they're going to be working with to accomplish that. Uh, could you describe the role as a CSO advisor in the program? Like, how does that work? How does that work? That is an ever-changing thing for me as a, a third-year CSO, because I think, especially seeing as when our CSO started, they were in sixth grade. So I felt myself and my, my other advisor were, we had a desire to be more hands-on, and as we've gone throughout the program, as has uh, our two CSOs, we're realizing, no, it, it really is about them and letting them have the understanding that it's, it's their project. We're here to help them. We're here to get them on the track that they need to go on, but really that we're taking that hands-off approach. And if they need anything, they come to us. We do what we can to help them out, but this is their idea. This is their work to accomplish that idea, accomplish that goal. And um, I, I think the role of the advisor is there is that, that cushion, that mode of support but this is the CSO's dream, and helping them accomplish that is different than doing that for them. I firmly believe this is a great program, and um, the, the idea, the mastermind behind this, that students are the ones getting involved, students are the ones out there making a difference and making that change is unbelievably huge.